today. Where did that come from? What that was wild, man. Infrasight for Infrasight here. Bigger difference maker could actually be the Dragon Strike. That will force Fusion off the payload, and that Ooh. could be a cap. But Fitz is dead. Uh, oh, wait okay. a minute, what? Two great shots from MN3. He gets a third. He's looking for some more. Immortality Field buys a little bit of time, oh. but what an absolute incredible volley from MN3. Shutting them down one after the other. So it won't be as easily burstable by someone as accurate as Kai on the Sojourn. See, Edison is just staying near the point, probably knowing that Venom's going to come rotate there just to force the flip and force some chaos as Kai shoots down Fielder, swoops in a headshot on the Tio. Kai is disgusting. The backhand on Edison, and then the finish on the Sparker and Hodman? Kai, who is this man? Someone call the Hague. That cannot be allowed. That's got to be illegal. Kai with the ace, and oh my goodness. They actually managed to take the high ground, they link up with Alpha Yi on the top, but now they have to push the payload, we're into OT, Shanghai has reclaimed high ground, Burno's on the ground, yeah, they are going to touch, thankfully, but the rest <laughs> of the team's cut off, look at Ioni's position, he's still back in spawn. Yeah, Alpha Yi going to get jumped on here, the attack visor is available, Lip is going to pop that. They put a lot of heals out on him, the nano boost as well, Lip going to find one, two, three kills, looking for a little more, and he's going to get all five members. Gets the team kill, gets the ace to go ahead and close out Eichenwald. The Mayhem didn't really have a chance to respond there with ults of their own. Nope. Nope. I take it back. I take it back. Nero proved Ooh, me wrong. Nero <laughs> proved me wrong again. Are you serious, Nero? That was a massive anti from Ultraviolet. Nanoed. Nero with the 5k. Okay. There's the smile that I wanted to see. Forget map number one. Eichenwald is yours. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, so this is the anti-nade that set the entire mm -hmm. thing up. Oh my god! What is more satisfying oh. than that? I cannot name a single thing. Here's that wall. Sparker playing from his side of it until he gets close enough to get at the Ryan shield. Sound barrier for both sides, but Pelican not benefiting from it. There, another big shatter from Hardy. Beautiful stuff! Merritt's knocked to the ground, and Piggy's not long after him. Cleaning house this man on the Ryan Hart. Ooh, okay. I mean, five kills? That's filthy. That's Hardy for you. Hardy representing main tanks everywhere. Yeah, the big job for Lip here is to try and force out Gargar's bubbles before Fate actually commits. By having that long-range poke damage, you can remove Gargar's resources and leave the rest of Chengdu Hunters vulnerable to Lee Jae Gong getting a triple boot, a quadruple What? Hello. Hello and goodbye. Clean by win from the Dragons too, who uh, have not lost anyone throughout that. And every time I see a player pause, I'm always thinking they're typing something in chat. And I don't even think I'd be able to read it. Hello, top five plays. Funny Astro down to about half HP, continues to get whittled away at the Pulse Bomb from Shy. Not gonna find anything. Zanano is out on Final LP, looking to clean him up, and Reiner gonna be taken down. Funny Astro now looking to delay as much as he possibly can, stop this flip from coming through. Sticky Bombs offered up over to the side, does get kept in the blade, pulled by Patty Pan, dashes through, cuts down Bernard, looks for a little bit more, he's gonna get shy, he gets super rich, he gets absolutely everybody! They clear them off the point, the Gladiators will manage to take it. A 2-0 on Ilios, a 3-2 in the series. They stay in the upper bracket. Pop off there from Patty Pan on the Genji towards the end. Their massive celebrations. They know how hard this game was. Spark put up a monstrous performance, but when it comes down to the end, Patty Pan with the play of the game selected in the game there as well. A Genji Blade to save the day. Blizzard from the back. Do they expect it? Slightly. Crimzo pops the transcendence. Victoria's in a little bit of trouble, but with the Immortality field, he should be good. Piggy has also been frozen, but saved with an Immortality from Iris. Merit, what? Oh. Wait! Was that a triple collapse? Where did that come from? What are you I think that was a triple kill with one railgun. I could be wrong. That was oh, a triple kill. replay, replay, what? replay. No did it just way go through did he line that them? one up. Oh my god. Oh, they were Boom. standing in a straight Whoa. line. Best Sojourn player in the league, stats-wise. Hey, add that one yeah. to the replay package. Oh yeah. <laughs> Merrick comes out with a first triple kill with the right click, uh, with the overclock in the league. That was just absurd. 
the shock. If they get this, it'll be overtime and fuel the weight on their shoulders without Hanbin, without that Rampage. They have no other ults to depend on. Sparkle tried to stop the flip. Now Chio has to jump back on to keep this going. Fielder's around the corner. He stays alive. The Rampage from Hanbin hits four of the shock, but fuel barely have any damage. But it's Hanbin who's a one-man army at the front. It's really anyone's game. It's a two versus two. Sparkle around the corner, and Fuel are still alive! One man, four foes, and one flip of the point, with four people hit by the Rampage. That's 400 healing coming over the course of the Bleed Slamming. Four meters separate these two teams. Immediate sound barrier use from the Defiant. The margins are too slim to take any risks here, and Piggy has gone down. There are chases, though. What? He's found Hisu. Make it two! He's going to eventually fall as Chorong pursues him. Still a lead for the Toronto to find now. Iris has to get himself out of this sticky situation and he has the answer. The sleep dart slows Hotpot down. No charge for this Zaya, but still a legitimate threat. Forcing away the outlaws, but Pelican comes out of nowhere. That's two with the Storm Arrows. And they're in this still. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. P Pelican gets the nano boost Another! And, and kills everybody. Immortality Field has to be there for Twilight, but it's going to get removed pretty quickly. 0.07 meters, the butt scratch is happening, but the Dragon Strike is there to force the Defiant away. The Outlaws scant millimeters away from what? victory, and they've the done it! What am I watching? The Houston Outlaws! <laughs> Say, what's a town without a sheriff? We're not going anywhere! <laughs> Dude, Pel Pelican went absolutely crazy. But one oh, of the man. most fated moments of individual brilliance that I've seen in my many years presiding over Overwatch League matches on the level of Shoes Baptiste in Havana, on the level of EQO's Dragon Blade. That was wild, man.